Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to talk about the laptops which you should buy for development people ask me every day that you know what kind of laptop you would suggest to buy me for development or even for gaming so um, and that is a question which is always in my mind as well because my current laptop has some problems and i want to buy a new laptop and i'm also sometimes thinking that whether i should go for mac os or apple laptop or i should choose any other laptop but so this video i made after a few things which uh, came to my mind and uh, because i wanted to suggest few friends that you know what which laptop would be good so i talk about five things here and then we will decide that which laptop would be good for you so if you are looking for a laptop which is uh, below 1000 dollar or maybe 50000 rupees so then i'll suggest that don't ever think about uh, macbooks or apple laptop because first of all they will not come in that price range and the second thing is that even if they are coming in that price range then probably they are uh, like old generation laptops and uh, that doesn't give you any value it's it just because you want an apple laptop that's that, that's the only reason and it does not make sense trust me and don't ever buy those laptops so uh, what laptop you would buy in that price range so i'll suggest that go for asus lenovo or maybe any other brand which you feel good like acer but uh, asus laptops are the laptops which will give you much more better hardware than any other in a uh, lower price range because even if you're not aware then some Dell laptops also have the Asus motherboard so at the end Asus makes very cheap laptops with a good hardware so Asus laptops are good choice then Lenovo is also offering good laptops in that price range like IdeaPad and uh, Acer have the Swift series which is good but again I would say that if you have any budget where you will you can buy a laptop which have SSD with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM then it would be good and it comes under range of 50000 for sure uh, it 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 might be possible that you are getting only 128 gigabytes of storage of ssd but uh, it is fine now uh, the video would be more focused on the range which is above 70000 or 80000 and uh, above 1500 dollars so um this is the target so if if you are targeting any laptop more than 1 lakh rupees 80000 90000 and like 50000 then this video is for you so first thing we will talk about is the expensive nature of laptop so everyone says that you know apple laptops are so much expensive and uh, uh, it, it is not worth of the money which is fine which i can understand but trust me if you are talking about this price range then any other branded laptop is also expensive even if you talk about microsoft surface books if you talk about dell xps or even lenovo um, x1 carbon and whatever thinkpad series so all those laptops are expensive this is not just that apple is expensive so it's a myth and but but there is a point that you know apple laptops are little bit more expensive than any other laptop because it offers you many things which i don't think that you know every other laptops will offer you like uh, if you are buying somewhere uh, around 1 lakh 50000 a laptop uh so it can be an apple macbook or it can be let's say a lenovo x1 carbon so the cameras so it will uh, offer you an hd camera in macbook and also an hd camera in lenovo but the difference is huge even i i have seen that the cameras are not good for if you are talking about any windows laptop in that price range so apple whatever it does it does like in a better way although i cannot say the same thing in 2019 but yes it is still better than any other windows laptop in those kind of fields like cameras and the way the operating system works so expensive yeah it is expensive but uh, if you are i i, I mean investing 1 lakh 50000 then if, even if you have to invest 10000 more rupees then also i personally feel it does it does not matter to you or it should not matter to you so that is one thing now let's talk about hardware on software So if you talk about hardware then definitely uh, I would say that any other laptop apart from Apple laptops would be giving you better hardware for low cost. So um let's say if th there's a laptop of um 1 lakh 50000 which is uh, the Apple MacBook Pro with the uh, i5 and uh, with 8 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage and then there is the same laptop uh, with the same hardware which will be probably costing you around 1 lakh 15000 or 
for any windows laptop like it can be a dell laptop and uh, it can be a uh, lenovo laptop or acer laptop asus laptop anything so uh, the hardware wise i would always say that you know apple laptops are much more expensive than uh, it what then what it offers but when we talk about the software part then the uh, there is a little bit uh, you know competition there because software wise i personally feel that um, apple is much better because of the mac os or the even if you are using an uh, iphones then i personally feel that you know ios is much better operating system than android is so um, because of that uh, smoothness because of that reliability because of that uh, software update so those are the things which i will say the same for mac os as well but uh, you know it depends on on how you use your laptop or in day to day life i am not saying that windows laptops are bad software wise but because we don't want our laptop to restart again and because i bought my macbook in 2016 i and never uh, restarted it because of uh, there is any problem specific to the operating system i just restarted it sometimes because of uh, i don't know what kind of reason it was but yeah it happened very 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 less frequently and uh, i don't even remember that last time when i shut down my device because it's uh, it's like you just close the lid and you just open the lid when you have to work so it's that smooth so the experience is smooth software wise with mac os but it's not bad with windows laptop as well but uh, still mac os is much better than that but let's say uh, if we go back again to hardware then if you want many ports like you want the hdmi cable you want the usb type c you want thunderbolt you want usb a and everything so definitely mac os or macbooks does not give you that option anymore um, i have the 2015 model of macbook which have almost every necessary port but now they just come with two thunderbolt ports i guess and um, trust me it is it is a very bad uh, experience as a developer because most of the time you need those ports and you have to buy some dongles and all that and it is very very painful so i personally feel that if you are that kind of person who wants all the ports who wants a better hardware and who can a little bit compromise compromise with the software part then macbooks are not for you and uh, then we will talk about the ecosystem so if you are someone who have an iphone already an apple watch then it does not make any sense to buy any windows laptop because you know if you will buy a macbook then your life would be much more easier it's very easy to copy and paste from one macbook to uh, iphone or there are a lot of other options like uh, airdrop is one of the biggest uh, advantage here then uh, there are many things which you can do if you are a part of this ecosystem this is not like you cannot do those things in windows but that will be uh, there will be a lot of hacks and there will be a lot of things which which does not give you that uh, you know better uh, you can see experience so so those are the things so basically if you are talking about the ecosystem then if you have an android then you can buy anything but if you have an ios device then definitely go for macbooks so that is one point then if you talk about the fourth point which is the development or gaming so first talks let's talk about gaming so I would personally say don't ever buy macbook if you want to game because macbooks are not for gaming first of all second if you let's say buy the most expensive macbook which comes even with a graphic card which will not be a like the best graphic card in the market but then also because we live in india and if you are an indian then definitely don't buy it because the temperature the heat which will it will produce will definitely destroy something uh, either it can be your thigh or whatever i i don't know that uh, what kind of uh, uh, distortion it can do but uh, but there will be definitely a problem with that so uh, don't buy macbooks for gaming at all and uh, there are a lot of uh, laptops uh, for gaming like there is asus rock series even acer predator series msi and other windows laptop as well so those are definitely good for gaming and if you're looking for uh, a gaming laptop which is also slim which can also be used for development then razer blade series is very good but the problem with razer blade series is that it is not available in india in india first of all even if you can buy it with uh, uh, amazon but uh, again i don't think that you will get some warranty or anything like that so um it is first of all if you are buying in india it is very expensive second it will not give you any kind of warranty and uh, third 
is that I guess uh, it's better to invest in MSI or maybe some other Predator series or maybe even um, the Asus ROC series which is a nice decent laptops and good for gaming um, and then let's talk about development then again here the MacBook wins for me because it can be used for any kind of development it's not just that you can do android development ios development it can be used for any kind of development and again i personally feel that you know uh, if you are someone who is targeting ios and mac os then definitely there is no better other option than macbooks but i i i, I mean that you can uh, few people will say that you know we can use hackintosh and we can use other hacks we can use virtual machines whatever it will not give you the better experience as well as it will not make you productive at all so if you will talk talk about me then uh, in last three years people who knows me knows that how much productivity i have i have been showing to others i mean the way i have been doing things have been better than what i was doing earlier so obviously if you have a macbook then because of how reliable it is how uh, like the way it works everything works pretty good so definitely um, for development also macbook is a good choice but if in case if you are not targeting any ios development or you are not thinking about targeting anyone and you don't care about mac os development then nobody is restricting you from using windows and definitely it makes sense to use windows laptop or even you can use linux ubuntu or whatever you want because again i personally feel that unix way of doing things is much better than windows way of doing it so it's better that you use uh, an Ubuntu operating system or even MacBook, or you Mac OS operating system. So um, it's all fine if uh, you are in that zone. But if you have to do iOS development, if you want that experience, then definitely you have to buy a MacBook. Then um, it comes the point that does it matter or what is the about the daily life? So does these things matter to you? Which means that it, you can be a guy who use Excel every day or you who use a little bit uh, uh, of uh, you know the YouTube or uh, who is mostly surfing on the web then this thing does not matter to you it's all up to you that whatever you want to buy you can buy because um, uh, I personally feel that a lot of people are there who just want to show their MacBooks because they want to show their you know that, that they have so much money and whatever it is i mean there can be a number of reasons for buying macbooks for that reason or you can buy any windows laptop as well so um there is one more point which i want to say after all those things because that is actually a very important point so now let's say if you are looking to buy a macbook so should you buy it because right now my macbooks are facing a lot of issues with their keyboard so there's a keyboard issue which is going on since few years i guess now uh, since the 2016 or 17 macbook pro came the butterfly keyboards uh, started to come and then now it is the third generation of butterfly keyboard and still they are facing some issues so i mean like seriously if you are investing two thousand rupees or even more than that then also you will face this kind of issue then it doesn't make any sense nobody wants to go to the repair centers or service centers for you know repairing of the macbooks even it, if it is free then why i will invest two lakh rupees in that particular thing so i would suggest that i mean if you are sure or if the uh, store person ensures you that it will not have that kind of problem then definitely you can buy but if there will be any problem like that then don't buy it because uh, it, it is going to you know make your life very 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 uh, painful and then uh, there will be an option like you can wait for 2019 models to be revealed which will be revealed in september i guess not before that but the problem with the, those laptop would be that i am i am I'm, I'm like 100 percent sure that uh, the keyboard issue will be fixed but then also it will be much more expensive than the existing laptops so then again it will be a problem because uh, every time apple will introduce new products then it is not going to be cheaper than the current ones. so that's a problem so i will suggest for most of you that don't buy apple macbooks at all so because you if you you don't have to do ios development or if you're not a part of ios ecosystem or mac os system then um then don't buy macbooks because you have a lot of uh, things which you can buy like uh, in a very 
a small amount like you can buy Lenovo X1 Carbon which is a very good laptop if you will ask about anything then it is a good laptop except few things like cameras and all because in that department MacBook is much better but then also uh, the for the price which you are paying they will give you the worth experience which you need so if you'll talk about the ports then also it has all the ports if you if you'll ask about the display then obviously it has a good display it's not uh, like that which is it is have very bad display then also as an experience it is very good so lenovo x1 carbon dell xps these are the laptops even the surface books are good ones because those are the laptops where you will not face these kind of issues like the keyboard problems and even thinkpad has the best keyboards available in the market i personally feel so in that scenario i would never recommend to buy macbooks because and if you want want to buy macbooks then i'll suggest if you have a friend who lives in united states or somewhere not in india then definitely you can ask him to you know bring that laptop to you whether it can be macbook air or it can be macbook pro because then the price would be a much more cheaper and uh, it will be giving you you know the for the money it will be good for you because then you know we always say that you know macbooks are always better because of the way we as a developer use it but again for gamers it is not for someone who does not have to like uh, have that kind of experience where he does not want to annoy himself every day because there is some window restarting there is some other issues so for those kind of things i guess macbook is much more e easier to use there are a lot of other utilities which is good in macbook so um ask your friend to buy a macbook for you you give him some money and give him some extra dollars also so that you know he, he feels like you know he's doing the good thing for you and also uh, because in india the because of the how the tax system works here so these all electronic things are expensive except the samsung ones because uh, it has a story again but apple laptops apple iphones all are expensive so if you can do that if you have a friend then then only apple laptops or even any other laptop can be a good choice in that price range but if you don't have any other option then choose wisely what you want so that's it about this video i hope you enjoyed it i am definitely aware of the fact that it is very difficult to decide even after this video but but again i have told you all the points which came to my mind and uh, these are the points which i will also uh, think about and uh, for the next laptop i'll definitely update you that which laptop i'm gonna buy so i'll probably go into us next month and then i'll buy one more laptop and uh, it let's see what it will be i'll definitely share it with you because it's still in my mind that what i will use or i will uh, what will be my use case and what i will buy so thank you so much guys for watching if you enjoyed this video then do press the subscribe button also like the video and don't forget to press the bell icon i'll see in the next video bye bye take care if you have any question then ask me in the comments or you can join my groups on facebook you can message me on twitter so anywhere you will find me bye bye take care and have a good day